Hello, Bridgewater Robertson Middle Schoolers. This is Katie, your local teen librarian from the Bridgewater Library, a branch of the Somerset County Library System of New Jersey. I'm here today to talk about books. The books on today's list are for 7th graders going into 8th grade. You can find all these books on our website at sclsnj.org. They are all ebooks. Also, sign up for our summer reading challenge at sclsnj.org slash summer reading. Let's get started. The first book I'd like to discuss is Clean Getaway by Nick Stone. The main character, William, also known by his grandma, by Scuba Doo, goes on an impromptu road trip to the American South, and he learns how the South was in the past through his grandmother's stories of her relationship with his grandfather. This story will tug at your heart. It also will make you laugh at times, and it also makes you curious about what's going on with grandma. Um, it's also a, an exciting road trip story. So if you're into um, exploring the United States a little bit and also um, some of its racial tensions of the present and of the past, this is the book for you. The next book I like to talk about is Far Away by Lisa Graff. I like this book because it is whimsical, there's magicians, there's psychics, there's also truth that is bared in this story. The questions of whether quote unquote spirit is a thing comes to light. Um, the main character, CJ, her only connection to her mother is her aunt, and her aunt is a psychic medium who is the only person who could talk to her mother. But when CJ finds out her mom is alive, she goes on a road trip with her new friend to find her mom. So this has suspense in it, excitement, and it has a little bit of like mysticism and whimsicalness. Um, if that's the kind of book for you, check it out. It also uh, bears the truth in life and love and family. The next book is focused by Allison Gerber. The main character named Clea struggles to focus in class. The only thing she can really focus on is chess, which is one of her favorite passions. But she keeps getting distracted, even though she's constantly trying so hard and she wants to do so well in school. And the fact that she can't focus is causing her to lose friends. This book is also interesting because they explore the psychiatry behind what she is diagnosed with, which is ADHD without the hyperactivity. So if you're inter interested in books about someone who's a little bit unique and has trouble focusing, check out this one. This one is a really fun one. This one is called Stand Up, Yumi Chung, and it's about a young girl about your age named Yumi Chung who stumbles upon a comedy camp. And when she gets there, she is misidentified as another student. And this student didn't show up to camp. Now Yumi Chung isn't paying for camp, but she stumbles upon it and she wants to be a stand-up comedian. She's shy, but she's funny. And she has good stories to tell um, that are, are tragic, but she makes light of her situation through comedy. This book also will tug at your heart a little bit, so it's not all funny. There are points where you just feel for her and her family. I highly suggest it. This is Stand Up, Yumi Chung by Jessica Kim. This one's exciting. This is a fantastical book. This is Greystone Secrets, The Strangers by Margaret Peterson Haddix. There's also a secret a sequel called The Deceivers. This book is about doubles or doppelgangers um, and also an alternate reality. There are three siblings. The names are Chess, Emma, and Finn. They find out there is people who are exactly like them, has the same names, but just looks slightly different. Same age, same birth date. And through exploration of this, these three siblings who mysteriously go missing and also their mom who goes missing. So when they go to find their mom, they discover about alternate realities. This book is exciting, keeps you on your toes. And if you like fantastical novels, also doubles, uh, check this one out. It's exciting. It's different. It's fantastical. I suggest it highly. And there's a sequel. So if you like it, there's more. Wink by Rob Harrell is about a young boy named 
Ross, who discovers he has a rare eye cancer, and that's why it's entitled Wink. Um, throughout his journey with cancer, he has to deal with treatment and also regular middle school life. If you're interested in stories about a unique perspective on life, check out Wink by Rob Harrell. This is also based on Rob Harrell's real experiences. There's also comics in this book, and I find that exciting um, because it makes the story more interesting when it's supplemented by comic books. This is the final book I'll be talking about, and this is the only nonfiction today. It's called Positively Teen, A Practical Guide to a More Positive, More Confident You by Nicola Morgan. This book is great for all teens, those who are positive already or could use some positivity in their life. Some of the ways this book explores becoming a more positive person is, for instance, make a poster with an inspirational quote on it. Um, and one of the other tips is write thank you notes, whether it's through text or in a, a card, as long as you appreciate others, you will be appreciated back and feel more positive. And that is Positively Teen. Thank you so much for listening to my book talk today. I hope you enjoyed some of these books. 